Oh my god, it's so fluffy! <laughs> today i'm doing just fine um today we are going to start with botania for sure uh first i want to tell you a little bit about uh what's me call it um fudge let me think when I'm going, uh, when I'm recording this, because some of you maybe already gave me some tips about the last episode or whatever, um, this is actually recorded back to back to my last episode because I uh, I don't have that much time to record stuff. Uh, when I have a day off, I actually like to record one, uh, maybe two episodes for that week. So I can uh, like have some backlog going. So yeah, that's actually the reason why I haven't uh, checked really. Uh, anyway guys, I will be flying back to my home. It's south from Spawn, just straight south. If anyone, any other utopian uh, want to know where I live, I, it's just straight south and you'll find uh, some type of garden and house and stuff like that. So uh, I will see you guys at my place. All right, guys. Uh, I've prepared myself a little area. I cut away those big trees here, and the tree is looking silly right now. But anyway, oh, small leg spike. <laughs> anyway, guys, I have grabbed some botania flowers from Corianche. He has made an amazing farm. I know someone else has also made it. Uh, made one, I think. Van Hal is it? Yeah, Van Hal also made one. But I, uh, I don't know where he lives. With that XP bottle. Well, it's getting out. Uh, be right back, people. All right, guys. I've made a day again, so yeah, we can just start with the things we need to do. First things first, we need to make ourselves a petal apothecary. I don't know if I said it right, but I will set it like this. I think I might make make multiple, just because I can. So that's, I can make three of, of them, I think. Oh, that's not the block I meant to pick. And we need to make uh, use some petals. I think I'm going to uh, with two gray ones. Just because I can. <laughs> okay, uh, let's put this one back. And let's place them down. Uh, I think like this. Yeah, that would be amazing. I'm going to grab myself really quick a bucket. Because I can use a few. Where do I have them? In here? No, not really. Then they should be in the tools chest. Yes. Grab two and I will grab myself some water. Water one, one to two. Okay, it's a little bit glitch, but meh. Okay, let's make ourselves a infinite water source. I don't really like them here, so I'm going to pick them up and pluck them down there and the other one is going to get here. Alright, let's make ourselves now an infinite water source. Let's see, I think here would do. Of course people, I, would, I will change this in uh, when I have some spare time, but today I don't have much time left. It's already like almost nine, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, guys, the first flower we need to make is the pure daisy. And to make the pure daisy, we need, can't find it inside of here. I think it's somewhere here. Pure daisy. No, it's not. Oh, it is. I don't know, uh, but um, I know the recipe, I think, from out of the top of my head. I think I need a few of them. I'm going to make a few of them. 12 would do. Let's spread them out until they are like oh, 4 by 4. Also, I forgot myself like to derp. I am some seeds, so I'm going to grab those really quick. Uh, let's think. Do I really miss something else? I think I'm ready now. Yeah, I am. Oh, no, I am not. 
I'm going to need some smooth stone. Do I have some ready yet? I don't know. I'm going to start smelting up some. And I need some wood for sure. Let's see if I have put some smooth stone in here. I have some but not a lot. I have maybe something in the outside chest. I'm maybe a little bit more prepared than I thought I was. I was. Oh yeah. Anyway guys. To make yourself flowers within... Um... Within this mod, uh, it's really amazing. Uh, I, I find it really amazing how you need to use it. Let's lay this down really, really quick so we can decently look into it. So you need to put in some of the petals and one seed to finish it off. And push, we got a pure daisy. So let's do that a few more times. Uh, we need to do that five more times. Oh yeah. Uh, let's grab the water bucket again and let's fill them all up. I, I really like how they uh, how this mod does this So one more time Cool 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 Sweet, okay, let's plunk them down and uh, here we do I love to lay them down in a straight row. I think I'm going to save this one for later. And the amazing thing about these things, these things are like transferring wood and other stuff into the magic planks and wood in from this mod. I know you can also fill in the uh, in between sides, uh, but you know, it's uh, let's do it. Oh, I already missed it. I think I'm going to do a little bit more wood because that's the main thing you need in the beginning. Oh, a little bit of a lag spike. I'm sorry for that, guys. Is it done? Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now it's a little bit of a waiting game, but I think I can fill it up the time. Um, a thing we are going to make with the wood is a mana spreader. This thing basically fires off mana in the direction you want to make, uh, you want it going. And we need to make a mana pool. At least this thing <laughs> for now. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm going to cut really quick until it like converts. All right, guys. It started converting really quick. I just love how this is looking. Like zof. <laughs> oh yeah, fancy stone, fancy stone, living rot and living wood. Just straight up love it. And you can just pick it up with just a pick or something. Uh, I know some people have some automated ways of this already at their base. I will do that for sure in a later stage. But for now, this will do definitely. So uh, let me grab it and I'll see you guys in a second. Now then, we are going to start with the basics of this mod. And that's basically... Uh, generating flora and we're going to start off with the day bloom oh yeah the day bloom is oh okay cool 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 oh I didn't know you can do this awesome <laughs> you can bookmark stuff so that's really awesome awesome um, the day bloom is basically generating mana from the Sun and that's crafting like this it's like really easy to like uh, see what you need to put in them so it's basically two white one blue and one orange so let's get that going uh, I'm going to craft a few so I think 16 that's 8 in total I want to have 9 so I need the half of this so that's we need some blue that's like uh, 9 let's see if we have that right light blue we need oh another batch is going uh, we need some light blue, not blue. Cool. So let's craft all these up into petals. I'm going to show you guys one more time. Because I just love how these things are crafted. I'm going to craft 9, so that's 4 by 4 by 9. <laughs> and let's make it happen 2 by 2. Uh, let's do it like this. Oh, I made a little bit too many, but meh, who cares. 
and then finish up with this seed. Oh yeah. So let me craft up all of these things into uh, what's my call it day blooms and I will see you guys in a second. Oh, yeah All right guys, I'm going to show you a little trick. I found out in the crafting of the day balloons uh, Pressing Q is really handy like I have all the things set up here. I'm just going to press two times Q Q Q Q See it's really nifty. So I have to craft uh, so I have crafted all the things. It's really nifty. Oh didn't mean to place it, place it there. And then we have this thing. We need to craft one more thing. So let's see what do we need. What do we need? Uh, give me a second. Okay. The thing we need right now is some black petals. I'm going to... If you know what I'm crafting, I'm going to craft too. But I'm going to craft myself a mana spreader. This thing is awesome. Uh, I'm going to craft myself also this thing. Um, this is, uh, as you remember, Botania from an older version. What the hell is this? Ooh, interesting. <laughs> Sorry, I was, uh, I'm uh, kind of easy to distract. Greenwood, oh, <laughs> wow. Anyway, uh, as you remember, you would get a mana pool, but in this case, you don't. You will get a basic mana pool. Um, I'm going to change that right here right now into a extended mana pool But for that I'm going to get to spawn. So see you guys in a second. Ooh, I fast. I kind of want to have that thing Or an apple. Still cool. So see you guys in a second <laughs> All right guys, all right guys, I'm just arrived at spawn and I'm going to get to this mana area so you see we have here two fully filled mana pools really cool really awesome if you drop a pool in it as far as i know yeah it converts into a fully fledged mana pool cool 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 can we drop it in one more time you know you can't but still this is quite awesome these mana pools it was a really good idea of namson putting these here because it's really awesome for people who just started off with Britannia like me oh yeah so i know we have these two things let's head back to our place so see you guys again in a second all right guys we're back i've prepared i'm going to prepare myself some more living rock but for now, I am going to start off by generating some basic mana. Uh, I've cleared out all the trees here. Uh, 10 saplings. I do have to replant them pretty soon, but not now. Now we're going to generate ourselves some mana. I'm going to keep this really compact. Oh, before I forget, I need to craft myself one more thing. So let's see what do we need. What am I needing? I'm going to use orange for this. Yes, I can choose a color. I think I need three of them. We are going to craft ourselves basically the wrench of this mod. The wand of the forest. Awesome, awesome. I really love this effect. Just sipping along. Oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's see if I still know this. Uh, right click, left click. How do you aim this thing? Like this? Oh, shift click on it. And then shift click where you want to aim it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Shift click to unclick it. Cool. Anyway, uh, we have now uh, aiming this thing at here and it's not now accepting mana. And stuff like that. Let's plant down this, these things. So I know you need to prevent them from like lining up because if we do that and um, we grab our this thing, I thought it would show lines in between them, but they apparently don't. But it's more efficient to like spread them out like this. At least that's the thing I read. So I'm going to suggest that's pretty right so yeah <laughs> let's see oh this is good enough oh yeah if you see we are already accepting mana 
Oh, we maybe even have too much. Because if you see it, look at that thing, it's building up. Oh no, it's working, awesome. Oh yeah, people, we are building mana. Oh yeah, I'm really happy about it. <coughs> but now you're asking, what can you do with this mana? What's beneficial to do this with blood magic? Well, I'm going to tell you that right now. The thing that's going to help us is this thing. The Falling Cade. The Falling Cade is a flower that angelic properties, that with angelic properties. It will use mana from nearby mana pools in order to apply a regeneration effect on any players nearby. So that basically means if I place down like the uh, altar right there, I will be able to place down the flower somewhere here and cut myself a lot of times to sacrifice a lot of blood. That would be really awesome. The only problem is with this thing is it's kind of expensive. So I'm going to work towards a runic altar at first. So I really need a diamond. Let's see how much it costs. What's this? Okay, let's see if we have enough already. No, we don't. So I need to wait a little bit, but I know we have a lot of mana at spawn. So, <laughs> okay. I know, uh, see me what you think about using things from spawn, because I know we are on the server, but that doesn't mean I have to use everything from spawn. Yeah, I don't have enough here. So uh, for this thing, I'm going to do a trip one more time to spawn so I see you guys in a second all right guys I'm here at the pedals or <laughs> at the mana pool again to change some stuff in I'm also going to change up the mana generation at my place but for now I first need to convert these uh, drop these up and grab all of this I'm not going to change all of the iron uh, let's see, uh, let's do 16 for now. Uh, uh, let's do them all. You can do some cool stuff with this iron, like making chess pieces and stuff like that. Let's see. Yeah, you can also, you, you can make some cool stuff with it. But I think this is it for now. Let's see. Yeah, this is it for now. So uh, I'm going to fly back. I just want to share that with you. So uh, yeah. I'll see you guys in a second when I have returned to my base. All right, guys, I have returned. <laughs> first things first, this is going really slow. Second thing, second, I need another mana spreader. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, I actually do need one, so let's craft up one really quick. I need some more gold, though. Where's all my gold? I think it's in here. Let's grab one. Not so open the chest, but open the crafting table. Plug down this. I think it's this thing here. Oh, I had it right. So, yeah, uh, I want to give it a bit more power. And that are we going to do via this. So yeah. At this thing. It, I actually dropped this one up. Didn't I? Yes I did. Uh, grab this one again. Turn it around. Nope. Put this one here. Let's drain out this one. Because here uh, is going to be the altar the mana altar thingy jigger I think it's like this yes it is the runic altar can I already get rid of this one yes I can okay I think it should be something like this and then that and that oh yeah Cool, cool, cool. And this shouldn't drain anything. Nope. Um, the day balloons are awesome, but I need something more heavyweight. And therefore, we are going to make an endo flame. 
I've repaired myself some of this so I need a little bit more of the brown ones a little bit more of the red ones and what's the final color light gray oh yeah so I need four light gray let's craft them all let's grab them out of the bag and let me craft them up I'm going to show you the first one. Oh, that, 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 that. Oh yeah, it worked. So see you guys in a second. All right, guys. Well, I've mined a lot before this episode. Uh, also before the first episode. So I've got a shit ton of calls. So please don't rage at me. But these are basically power generators. Uh, let's take care that we have eight stacks. So I'm going to throw them just inside of here and see the flames burn all at once. Okay, let's see how much mana do we get. Quite a bit. You, show, you see also this beam like bam, banging as like there's no tomorrow. There isn't going to be a lot of build up yet. But maybe you can see that in a second. It's, it's, it's going nuts. I know it will. So I'm going to drop some more. I think this would do it for now. So let's see what we need to craft. Okay, first things first. I can do this. Let's see. Okay, uh, let me grab the stuff I need uh, for this crafting and crafting after this. I'll see you guys in a second. Oh, yeah. All right, people. I just come... I just came back from uh, the nether because I just needed to collect some nether ward because I didn't have any. And now I have. My inventory is also a mess and I will dump that all. I know it's bad dumping stuff for me, but <clears throat> at the moment I don't really feel like cleaning up because it's getting kind of late and I kind of want to get this episode done. So I will dump everything inside of here. I just need one nether ward. I also got some fuse boots up. This is kind of funny. I don't know if it blocks but we'll find out <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh damn it did a lot of damage to me <laughs> oh cool I'm definitely going to use that for something I don't know <laughs> anyway I just need a one other word <clears throat> let's jump down and grab all of our inventory let's arrange it really quick and let's grab out the lexica Britannia. let's Kill those creepers. Where's the other one? I'm missing one. <gasps> oh, fuck. <clears throat> the damage isn't that bad, to be fair. <clears throat> no, it destroyed my pole. Dang it, now I have to change it over at... Oh, creep hard. That's spawn. Uh, uh, damn creepers, though. Damn creepers. Let's uh, let's change it, though. I can change it now. Let's profound. Base. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wrong key. Um... Did anything else got destroyed that I can't really miss? Not really, not really. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I will fix that later. Anyway, guys, uh, I'm going to show you how much mana those coal, that coal made. Just look at it, how much it did. It's just amazing. Let's spread it out into groups of eight. And let's drop some more onto it. And oh, I thought it was becoming night already. Even though it's not... I just slept, basically. Let's see what we need for the first thing. Without dying this time. I hope. I'm first going to make this thing. So, uh, oh yeah, I was going to prepare myself for this. So, see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I think I have everything now to make first this one. And you get three of them. How cool is that? So, uh, basically what you have to do is right click this thing, I've added three of those, 
and I need to add this one, this one, and this one. And then uh, now uh, let it charge. And let's grab our wand. Is this even a wand? It's a wand. Oh, it's a little bit laggy. Oh, give me a second. Okay, it's still a little bit laggy for some reason. I think he doesn't like uh, this effect that's going on. But basically, I'm now... How was that sound? Oh yeah, you see like it's starting to like flash in air. And I think it's getting close. Oh, it's a little bit laggy though, so... Uh, oh wow, it's getting quite fast. It's going quite fast up. Cool. I have to wait until like thunder and lightning is coming out of it like this. <laughs> great timing, great timing. Let's throw a living rock on it and right click it. Oh yeah, got three fire, rune of the fire. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, let's do that the same for like <clears throat> the other thing. I need one of this and this one and this one and now it will charge. It used up a fair bit of mana, but we have all the coal we need. It's also still a little bit laggy. I have no idea why it's doing that, but... Eh. Oh. Okay, I'm going to let it charge and I will be right back with you guys when it's flashing. Oh yeah, guys, I think it's... Oh yeah, perfect timing, perfect timing, oh yeah. Let's drop it on that and right click it. I dropped it beside it. That's just amazing. Oh yeah, guys, got this one too. Rune of Father, Water. Let's see what we need to do now. Okay, need some wheat, need some oak. I don't think I have any oak, so I need to... No, uh, I will see you guys in a second. Alright guys, I uh, just collected all the things. Uh, needed to find a oak sapling, but I have now three I think I need. I think, if I can add them. Can I? Oh, one, two, three, I think. Yeah. And then add the runes. So, and now it's again a waiting game. Let's see, do we have still enough? Yeah. Let's drop some more on it. Two more. Disappear. Oh, yeah. I love it. It's already starting. <laughs> uh, no, she just yawned, but she's really she she's really cool uh cool uh, YouTuber. I always wanted to say uh, she's a cool dude, but uh, I'm kind of lagging. Oh, I'm sorry for that, guys. Let's see, this should be all right. Rune of the Spring. Oh yeah. But I fucked up something up. This is all right. Rune of water, fire, three oak saplings, and a weed. This should be all right. Uh, I will see you guys in a second when this is done. Oh yeah, I'm a big derp. I just needed to right click this to start the initialization progress. But I oh wow, this is done really fast. I just like I clicked on it. <sighs> No, I need that thing. Can I click it now? Is this a ghost block? I think it is. Okay, I think that's a ghost block. Or it's just behind this. Yeah, it was. Oh, yeah. Now we have that thing. Let's go back one more step. And now we can do this. Okay. Let's do this. I think it's two of those. Am I right? Yes, I am. I think everything I have here should be go on it. Should go on it. Let's see, do we have one more thing? I think we have everything right now. Uh, one normal white one. I don't have that one. So let's grab it really fast. Cool, cool, cool. I have that one now. Let's see if we have everything right now. One brown one. <laughs> I think we have, so let's start this progress. 
think I've dirt something up. Let's see. Mana yellow one, two white ones, rune of spring. Oh, I'm a derp, you know, guys. Uh, this shouldn't be in here. Let's see if I can break it. Yes, I can. Okay, I'm sorry, guys. I'm I'm <laughs> still a little bit derpy. I'm like always, actually. So uh, one of these, one of these, this one, and I think it's now the seed. <gasps> oh yes, fallen Canaan. Oh yeah, guys. Do you th know what this means? I will get regeneration. Oh yeah. Okay, we are going to prepare really quick a blood magic area somewhere around here. I think I will like uh, clean up this field. I think I will do it here. Yeah, I will prepare myself here in a little bit of an area and I will see you guys in a second. Oh yeah. Alright guys, I've built me a little bit of blood magic setup. Uh, there's nothing special about it, but uh, the special thing we come will come now. Let's see, let's see. I think I will place it right here. With a mana pool of its own. Uh, let's clear some a little bit more area. Okay, okay, okay. Now we need a mana spreader. I think I will leave this as a buffer and let the rest come from the sides. Oh yeah, just just like I had a moment ago. I think I will fill up a little bit of that lake. So see you guys in a second. All right, guys, let's plant the end of flames first because these are overpowered. Good, they aren't overpowered because they require some fuel, but they are just amazing. Uh, let's clear out some more land here. Let's try it here. Oh, yes, please don't destroy any important flowers like this one. <laughs> I'm so stoked for this. Uh, you maybe already noticed, maybe, but uh, I'm really I am having that one because that's going to save me a lot of time. So yeah, uh, I'm going to plant these flowers here. I have four more. Oh yeah, these and these, and let's take out of these and let's aim them a little bit better. Nope, this one. This one to this one, and this one to this one. Oh yeah, and see, I already got regeneration three. It's still a little bit on and off, but uh, I will boost that. I think it's mainly doing that because it's not yet powered. So let's see what will happen. Oh yeah, guys. Now we can stab, stab all the blood and regenerate like a madman. See, and let's see how much essence. Oh, I get FPS drop a little bit. Is it over? Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I'm I have quite a bit essence in here actually. Why well, it's going down? Oh yeah, it's starting. It's building up its internal buffer. So yeah, guys, what does this mean? This means actually we have a really awesome system. Oh yeah, just love it. Look at the regeneration. I have now permanent regeneration three, the place where I can use it, like a madman. Okay, um, I think I'm going to uh, end the episode here. Um, if the episode is, yeah, I'm going to just end the episode here. Uh, I've done quite a bit today. Went to the Nether. Uh, Built myself an overpowering system. I'm going to uh, take care of the blank slates for the next episode. So we have that prepared. And yeah guys. Um, I want to thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's maybe a little bit of a shorter one. I have no idea. I have to look at the re uh, rendering uh, total time. But I think this episode is done for today. Thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.